kind of a big deal. This video is pretty much going back to my original roots. When I started this whole fragrance YouTube journey, I love to focus on inexpensive fragrances and my whole theme was balling on a budget. So right now with the economic situation that we're going through, the stock market is through the shitter like it's been in 08. So I decided to bring you five fragrances that I feel are signature scent worthy under $50. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto these amazing fragrances. And you're welcome, America. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. And this list was a very difficult list to compile because five signature fragrances under $50 are like combination of words that don't really go together. But I do have one honorable mention that really deserves to be on this list and is interchangeably able to be number six or number one. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful, elegance and artistic beauty about it for such a low price point that it couldn't have been left off this list. And the fragrance is none other than Guerlain's Lome Ideal. This joint is absolutely deliciously creamy, nutty, leathery, a little bitter, citrusy, beautiful, sexy, smooth, elegant. It has so much high class potential with a balling on a budget mentality that this can easily be a signature fragrance in your staple. I would not get tired of wearing this fragrance on a daily basis if my wallet told me I had to put my ass on check. Listen, nowadays, situations is rough, tolls are going up, gas prices are going up, stock markets dropping. We need to conserve a little bit of bread, something that I never thought I would say out of my mouth. And this fragrance can definitely satisfy any beautiful nasal palette while giving you a little bit of exclusivity. Let's start the list. These fragrances are in no particular order. I just feel that these fragrances are super dope, especially for the price point. And why not keep a little floose in your pocket, bro? The next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is a little bit of a hybrid of two fragrances, which is Green Ivers Tweed and Aventus, both from the Creed line. Without spending that Creed budget, the fragrance is none other than Le Parfait by Armaf. This puppy you can find anywhere from 20 to 35 bucks on Amazon, eBay, anywhere on the online gray market. I'm definitely guilty of being one of the people who blew this fragrance up on the YouTube world and with good reason. Beautiful fragrance. I think for the synthetic quality behind the fragrance, obviously it's not the top quality, best oils and mixtures and aroma chemicals in the game, but it satisfies the need for a beautiful hybrid of a fragrance on a budget. Has decent performance on my skin, has gotten me multiple and I mean multiple compliments and nobody would ever think at any point that this is a fragrance that's anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. Le Parfait from Armaf, signature scent worthy absolutely. Next one. Personally this is one of the newer acquisitions in my collection and I instantly felt that it would be signature scent worthy because it has a little bit of a reminiscence of the Blue de Chanel line but I think it might be a little better. The fragrance is none other than Missoni Porome. Again, same DNA as a Blue de Chanel, only I feel this one is so smooth and very beautiful and very inviting, super sexy, very inexpensive. Again, under 50 bucks anywhere online that you look this shit up. These joints might even be available at Marshalls, TJ, or Ross. Any of those discounter stores, you might be able to find this Masoni Port on Bright, mass appealing, non offensive, work friendly. You can definitely wear this shit out clubbing or partying or boardroom and budget meetings. Completely versatile, definitely signature scent worthy, and under 50 bucks? Come on, be mad at that, please. Next one. Once I smelled this fragrance, it was love at first sniff. Seductive and sexy and just wow. I couldn't believe that this fragrance could exist at this kind of price point. The fragrance is none other than by the house of Roberto Cavalli, and that's Womo. As the old rock band No Doubt used to say, don't sleep. This fragrance is a banger for the price point. Again, under $50. This is definitely on the darker, but it's also a little bit sweet and kind of thick and dense. It has a nice violet note that on a dude, it adds a little bit of freshness. It has that floral femininity. However, this shit is masculine, like testosterone doing decadurabolin shots in three month cycles. Not that I know anything about that, but you know, allegedly people do those types of things. Sexy, performance, price, oh God. Penny dropper? Yeah, 
this is pretty much that. Next one. The next fragrance on my list is a newer acquisition and as soon as I smelled it, not to mention the price point blew me away, but the fragrance is absolutely signature scent worthy and I figured if somebody's on a budget, they can definitely wear this shit every day and you could even shop this joint for under $15. The fragrance is by the house of Frank Olivia and that's Sun Java. In the simplest way possible, Sun Java for me, that first sniff is a minty watermelon freshness with some dark ambery nuances. So what does that mean for the common dude? It's bright and fresh and wearable for the warmer weather, but versatile enough to be worn in some cold weather situations. You can wear this shit with a Canada goose in the furry top, or you can wear this shit with some really tight above knee bike shorts with your bulge hanging out and a fucking, you know, 50 cent tank top if you want. Definitely has a sexiness about it. Now, I will be honest, on the initial spray, you gotta give this joint like a good five to 10 minutes for it to wear into your skin and really create its essence. It's a little sharp and it's a little annoying when you first spray it, but give it some time, let it develop on your skin, let it do what it does, and again, has the capability to be a signature scent with a beautiful mass appealing quality at a ridiculous Dollar Tree type budget. Next one. There is no way that you can bag Fendi for under $50. It's absolutely unthinkable until now. The last fragrance on my list is Fan de Fendi. You need a little mystery in your life. You want to be that Cape Crusader. You want to be the masked vigilante in the middle of the night, walking through that dark alley at 1.30 in the morning with hockey pads on. This is the sexual fragrance that's going to attract all those female villains to attack you and cat claw you all over your face. People are just going to automatically assume, damn, he's balling, kidding it like that. Damn, my boo took me to the all-you-can-eat scrimp deal and he's got some Fendi on dash. Oh, he's sophisticated as fuck. Yeah, you might be, but you still on a budget and you pay for that Red Lobster with a coupon. Stop lying. Beautiful fragrance. And let me tell you, not only is this a fantastic list by an amazing host, but it hits all the points. You got summertime, you got fall, you got spring, and you got winter. You got versatility, you got work, you got dance, you got turn up, you got twerking, man thonging, dancing on top of bars, getting crazy with your frat brothers. Whatever you want to do, on a budget, you could be eating ramen all day and still smell delicious. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know what y'all think of these signature fragrance lists or if you have any signature fragrances that are under $50 that you wear on a daily basis. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the biggest in the game. Be on a budget, fam. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would.